Some school stuff that I don't know if I want to do. She went to the bathroom, so I'm just gonna talk for a while and see if she's gonna use this footage. If we do, I love you. Okay, she's back. Bye bye. Look at this flower bouquet, guys. If any of you want to ask Kristen to come, you have to get a bouquet. This isn't drama. If you ever need a tutor for years 7 to 11, find us. Not me. <laughs> I can't. I would love you if, if you take biology with me. I love biology. And chem. I love Gear 10 chem. Gear 10 chem is lit. It's fire. I love your love biology. Me too. Your love biology. So 
You're 11 bio, you're 10 chem. Actually, I You're 10 bio. I don't remember your 10 bio. I just want to Plant biology. If you like plant biology, good for you. Because I despise it. Wait, I shouldn't say that. Cut this out. Sorry, bio teachers, if you're hearing. I am. I'm taking bio next year. Watch me not come it out in the actual book. <laughs> it literally just died on Okay, okay. Three, two, one. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, so it's currently 12 past 9. My physics test is tomorrow, so I'm going to do a bit more revision. And then I'm going to try to go to sleep early so I have energy. And try my best for the test tomorrow. Revising is really important because not only do you have a higher chance of doing well on your test, but you also feel a lot more confident going into it. Because you feel like you at least know most of the content. Whereas when you go into a test not that confident because you haven't revised enough, it gives you a sense of pressure and anxiety. So there may be questions that you actually know, but because you aren't prepared, you tend to overthink it and get them wrong or not provide the best responses to help you get the full marks. Another thing is sleep. Trust me, I have lost sleep to revise from my assessments the next day. And I will admit it works short term, but if you're repeatedly doing that, we all know it's not a healthy practice. It's understandable if you have to do that once in a while, but stay organized, make a schedule, and balance your different aspects of life. When I study, especially for physics, originally provided with um, a content outline. I would first highlight which ones I feel more confident in, which ones I might need to revise a little more, and finally which ones I do not recall or have no knowledge of whatsoever. So this is what mine looks like. You can see there are different colors and also highlighted certain aspects that I have to memorize a little better. So after I make all these notes, I'll basically say them all out loud and see which ones I have missed out on or which ones I need to better understand. So let's do that now. I have the content outline open on my laptop here, but I've closed my iPad so I don't have access to my notes. I've always been going in order, so this time I'm going to go in the opposite order. <laughs> Here's a reminder to drink water. <laughs> and a new Apple Pencil. Mine snapped. That's why I have like paper stickers <laughs> wrapped around it to keep intact because the tip snapped off. My camera died midway, but it's now um, 16 past 10. 
I stopped revising for physics at 10 just to give myself a break and start revising for maths as well because I have a binomials test coming up on Tuesday, which is basically the day after tomorrow. So I need to revise for that as well. I'm just going to revise up till 10.30 and then I'm going to call it a day because I need to get enough rest for tomorrow. Math just requires a lot of practice, so I'm going to go over a bunch of questions and familiarize myself with how to approach each question. Sweet dreams.